The IKV-91 or Infanterie Kanonvan 91 light tank was developed by Haglunds and Sonar in the late 1960s. This light tank was intended for infantry support operations. First prototypes were completed in 1970 and this light tank entered service with the Swedish Army in 1974. Production ceased in 1978 with a total of 200 vehicles built. Vehicle is fitted with a well-sloped turret for better protection. Front turret and hull armor of the IKB-91 protects the crew from 20mm armor-piercing projectiles. Add-on armor can be fitted if necessary. The IKV-91 is armed with Bofors KV-90S73 non-stabilized 90mm rifled gun. This gun is loaded manually. Vehicle has a rate of fire of 8 rounds per minute. A total of 59 rounds are stored inside the vehicle. The IKV-91 was fitted with a relatively effective fire control system. Secondary armament consists of two 7.62mm machine guns. One of them is coaxially mounted with the main gun, while the other one is placed on top of the turret. The IKV-91 is also fitted with two 71mm Lyran flare launchers. Vehicle has a crew of four, including commander, gunner, loader and driver. The IKV-91 light tank is powered by the Volvo Penta TND 120A diesel engine, developing 350 horsepower. This light tank employed common components of the PBV-302 armored personnel carrier. The IKV-91 has an exceptional cross-country mobility because of the high power-to-weight ration and low ground pressure. This light tank is fully amphibious and is propelled on water by spinning its tracks. Later models were equipped with water jets for better speed afloat. It can also fire its main gun while afloat.